Hey folks, Kip Adams from the National Deer Association here. I'm doing a little habitat work today on a cold March day. Came across this dead buck fawn. We come up, we can see uh, stuff's been eaten off it. We have crows on it. That's actually what alerted us to us. Coyote tracks around. Um, one of the things we wonder is, did it get hit in the road? Did it get killed by a coyote? You know, kind of what's going on with this? We can do a little bit of investigating and try to see. But well, one of the things this time of the year that's very important to be able to check is we can take a look at the bone marrow inside its femur and then from that assess how much body fat this animal had left to know, hey, was it in good condition or it wasn't. It's at the end of the winter, it had used up all of its fat reserves and it was just easy pickings for something else. So this time of year, if you come across a dead animal, we're gonna take the femur. The femur is the big bone in your back leg. You have to have that part of it. We will pull that bone out. We will crack it, look in the middle of it, and when this animal has a lot of fat reserves and is very healthy, that bone marrow will be white and real chalky, chalky or solid. When it has used all of its fat reserves up, that will be red, almost like red jello, and it will be able to run out. At that stage, we know this deer is really malnourished, and it, just about anything would be able to take it down or kill it. So, great way to check, to check nutritional levels. So, we're going to go ahead, we will pull this femur, take a look at the bone marrow. All right, this is the long bone in the back of the leg. We can cut in here. We're just going to get the hair away, cut through this meat. Just... It's amazing this, you can take a look at these predators reading it. You know, when we kill a deer, we think of the back straps and these good steaks here. They haven't touched these at all yet. First thing they're going to do is they're going to cut right in to that stomach, as they have here, and pull all that out and then just kind of work their way back. So we'll just get it here into the back, find this femur biggest bone in the back leg. Just cut the meat away because we want to get inside this. What we want to do is we need to be, we want to get the middle third of this. So you can see, so this working, we have Bo's handy tool with this here that we use a bunch. I'm going to break this right in the middle. You can use a knife for this, you can use a hammer, a saw. Take a look inside here. Let's look at what we have. You can see this is the femur or the bone marrow on the inside. When this animal was really healthy going into winter, this would have been solid white and nice and chalky. Look how red this is. It still has a little bit of solid to it, but it is no white left at all. It is very red. That lets us know that this animal had used up most of the fat reserves that it had. It's not completely gelatinous or running out. So he did have some left, which would suggest this deer, while not in perfect condition, and you would not expect that this time of the year, he still definitely, you can see this is a little bit solid, definitely had some fat reserves left here and uh, was likely wintering okay. Entirely possible that he got hit by a car or something else. Highly unlikely that coyotes took him down at this stage. I bet you there was something else that was going on with this. And the fact that we're not all that far from a pretty major highway would suggest that, uh, you know, good chance he got hit by a car. And then after that, coyotes are just feasting on him. So this is a great way to be able to tell that, though. Check the nutritional condition of this deer. So for anything else deer health related or habitat related, be sure to check us out online at DeerAssociation.com.